Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tech Zoomer talking to you here. And in today's video, I want to talk about the Meta Quest 2. And yes, I bought the Meta Quest 2 because I wanted to find out. Yes, I bought the Meta Quest 2 because I wanted to find out if this $350 VR headset from Meta is really that good and if the price makes it competitive with the Apple Vision Pro. Yes, Apple Vision Pro is the new VR AR headset from Apple that is going to be launched on January and it's only available in the US, costs 10 times more than this headset but still I think it's a very good comparison to make and to look at the best of the hardware now on VR. I know that this is not the best but price performance I think the Meta Quest 2 I will say right now is the best hardware out there. So, yeah, I've been using the Meta Quest 2 for the last two weeks and I gotta say, this is my first experience with VR and I'm in love with it. I will not keep this headset, I will return it, but still, I can see the appeal for people to like it. I've done everything on this headset, watched movies, played games, oh my god, it's such an experience, like traveling with this headset, watching movies on this huge screen on an airplane is insane. I think there's everything you can do with VR. This is a total new world that I have not explored yet and that's what makes it exciting. But again, I don't think this is a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro on its essence because this, this headset is actually only a VR headset with some AR capabilities, while the Apple Vision Pro is an AR headset with some VR capabilities. They overlap in some features that I will talk about later, but I think that in overall I don't see this being a competitor and I see most people buying an headset like this and not an headset like the Apple Vision Pro just because of the price. Although I think that the Apple Vision Pro concept is much, much more appealing for everyone. So no further ado, let's start this Meta Quest 2 review, shall we? So before we talk about the Meta Quest 2, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. This video has been on the makings for a long time. I never took that much to make a video, but I needed the extra time to understand this new platform that I've never been onto. So the Meta Quest 2 was my first introduction to VR and I gotta say, it's incredible. But before we talk about it, let's unbox the Meta Quest 2. had to buy a separate accessory which cost me 70 euros which was this headband. This headband cost me an extra 70 euros or 70 dollars whatever you want to call it because it's much much more comfortable. I tried out the other strap that comes with the Meta Quest 2, it's not that comfortable, it's very soft, I did not enjoy it. While this one is very sturdy, made of plastic, has this very comfortable rubber band, has this support here. So if you want to get the Meta Quest 2 I totally recommend you getting this accessory. Makes the accessory game much much better, makes it much more comfortable. The weight distribution, which is a problem on the Meta Quest 2, is much much better if you buy this accessory. So I think you'll be very very happy with this purchase, totally worth it the $70. To start using it is really that simple. Just put it on, pull this lever on the back or this wheel, it will make some clicking noises and of course you are ready to use it. It comes with the remote, as you can see, this is the remote and we have two, right one, left one, 
they appear on the screen when you picked it up. They are really cool, they act as your hand when you are playing games. This is a very good way to interact. But I think that the best way to interact with the MetaQuest 2 is just like Apple did with the Apple Vision Pro, with your fingers and hand. Because the MetaQuest 2 actually supports hand tracking and pinching with your fingers. This was my first introduction to Apple's new operating system and input method. Because this tracks everything with your hand. Not your eyes, but your hand. Your hand moves and this pointer on the screen moves. And when your hand is moving, you can just pinch your finger and it will open the app. This at the beginning sounds weird, but even if you try it out on the MetaQuest 2, it's really, really intuitive. And I love it. Apple, you are here with a banger. Apple Vision Pro will be insanely easy to use. I can tell right now, have not used it, but if it's better than this, I'm sold. I'm totally sold. Hand tracking and pinching with your finger is the best thing that I could ever thought because, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sold on this. I've used the MetaQuest 2 hand tracking so many times. It's really, really useful. And when you wanna play games, be more precise, when you wanna act faster, then the controller makes sense. This, it lets you move on the game, lets you point your weapon really well, squeeze a trigger. It's like an haptic touch. It's like, gives you a feeling. While using your hands, it's like you have no feeling. Like you touch things, they don't feel anything, you don't feel anything. The controller like vibrates, the controller moves, the controller is tactile, is something you can touch, vibrates when you are shooting, aiming when you are hit. So gives back some of the experience of being on actual reality. So again, I applaud Meta for including the remote. It's a nice addition, I like it. But as you know, MetaQuest 2 comes with a lot of things, remote, USB-C cable, the headset, and I bought the extra band. So I think it's a pretty, pretty good deal for only with the band $450 or $430. So I think this is the base package you should get with the MetaQuest 2. Has four the best features on the MetaQuest 2 or the things that I did the most here were playing games, browsing the web, actually VR desktop, which is really, really cool if you put your VR desktop here. And of course, my favorite, favorite thing, Netflix and chill. Yes, you can watch Netflix, Disney Plus here, on this very nice lounge with this huge screen. This was my favorite use case for the MetaQuest 2. And now I can understand why Apple loves the idea of you watching movies on VR. Because trust me, it's really, really cool. Like you are sitting down, this huge screen is at the front of you and it's like being on the cinema. It's really realistic. The MetaQuest 2 only has two 1080p screens. They are not the best. They are LCD, they are 1080p. They're not the best, but it gives you a very realistic experience. In my opinion, better than being sit down at home watching TV. Much better, because the screen is bigger, it's more immersive, it feels like the movies, much, much more than being at home and streaming movies. But again, these screens are not the best, while Apple Vision Pro screens are going to be 4K micro LED screens. So I cannot imagine how cool it must be watching movies on that headset. So I think this being my favorite use case, again, it's going to blow up on the Apple Vision Pro, and it's totally worth it if their screens are much, much better. Even 2K screens would be double the resolution of this one. So, oh my God, I'm so, so excited for Apple Vision Pro. As for playing games like Golf VR, I found that they are immersive, but they are not totally immersive. I've played several hours of games, Golf VR, even like Population One, which is the first person shooter. And I found that playing games, it's a nice experience. Like when you first try it out, it's something that's going to change your life forever. I asked my brother to try to play some games here and oh my God, you can see their reactions. It's so funny for the first time seeing a person trying VR. And I think it's one of the experiences you should have in your lifetime. It's really, really cool. And I think it's totally worth it. For one time, get it from Amazon, try it out. I think it's totally, totally worth it. His experience was life changing and I think it's very, very thankful. But going back to the games, I played Golf VR and I thought that while playing Golf VR, you can see that I was only using one remote. I was swinging because I've played golf on real life for like three, four years. And I know how it feels to play golf. And the immersion is not there yet. I just need to say this, like it feels realistic. It feels like you are trying to play golf, but remember those Wii games where like you felt like you were playing tennis, kind of? Well, this is like 50% more immersive. It's not like totally immersive. You don't feel like you are really playing golf. No, you just feel like you are swinging much more. It's much more accurate with your swing, but still it 
there's no like feeling, there's no, you don't feel the ball when you punch the ball or you tackle the ball. No. And so I think it's not there yet. Much, much better than we. But imagine like a we on steroids. That's what I can tell you. Like this is what the Meta Quest 2 feels like while playing box, while playing golf, while playing all those sports where you are moving very fast, dancing around. That's how the Meta Quest 2 feels. If you ever played Wii, then it's very close, but much, much better, much more accurate. So it's very fun for family playing, for people. But I think Apple Vision Pro is going to change everything. If someone makes games for their headset with that realistic tracking, head tracking, movement tracking, oh my God. I'm so excited for that headset. Like, I now understand why other YouTubers are so excited for Apple Vision Pro. Even after playing Population 1, which is a first-person shooter, you pick up your gun, you are with your remote, you pick up your gun, you look at it from down upwards, it feels so, so real. Like, I cannot tell you, the first time you see it, like, it has depth, it has 3D effects. It feels like you are holding a real gun, a real machine gun. And it's something like, I cannot describe you here. Even if you are watching my cast, on MetaQuest, like, it's not the same thing. You have to try it out, try to get one on store. It's totally worth it. It's going to change your perspective on technology and on the future. And after a while of using that hand tracking movements and features and the pinching, I got really used to it. And that's why I think Apple Vision Pro has something on his hands. This is going to be the best and easiest headset on the market to use. So really excited for Apple Vision Pro. I think this is a very, very good prequel for you to try, see how it works see how VR works, try to understand its world, and then see where Apple Vision Pro is going for. Because I think it's really, really good. And oh my God, I can now give credit to everyone. This is plastic. This is made of plastic. This is made of rubber. Plastic, it's lightweight, foam. The lenses can adjust. They have optical adjustment layers on the lenses, so you can adjust. If you don't see really well, it can unblur, blur. So it has all of those things. It's, the hardware is good. It has end tracking. You can design actual a wall. This is one of the favorite features on MetaQuest. Like when you first start, and I will like actually launch you for the first time you are watching VR. When you first launch on VR, it will ask you to create a boundary. This boundary will set your floor and it will set the boundary that you can play on. So it will warn you if you pass through that boundary because it will hit the wall or it will hit other objects. This also will warn you if other objects have breached through your wall. So really good. This boundary feature is really, really cool. And if you are a sit down, you can choose for a sit down boundary or a stationary boundary where it will draw a circle in front of you. You can see it all the times and it will show you where you cannot and you can move. But if you go back to the boundary, if you surpass the boundary for some reason because you were moving around and you actually like accidentally surpass the boundary, it will automatically turn on the pass through feature. And this, this is where the Meta Quest 2 is really, really behind the Apple Vision Pro, even if it costs 10 times less which is the pass-through mode. The pass-through mode here is really trash. Like you can see here, it's really, really bad. You just see in black and white with very, very much noise. Like it's really, really bad. You can see that these cameras are only for tracking your hands, not for you to see. And this was an afterthought after other headsets have launched it. But MetaQuest Pro solves this issue, but I don't think they do it really, really well. I think that the MetaQuest 2 is really the best headset for you to buy right now. Costs you $350 without this headband, but the headband push, pushes it up for the 400s. Again, has USB-C, has cameras everywhere, one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, has microphones everywhere, has speakers on the sides, so you can listen to sound, it's 3D sound, so it's almost like Dolby Atmos sound. It's really immersive when you are playing games, you don't really care about the sound quality. You can listen to music videos, you can watch movies here. This does everything. And the VR experience is where you will actually fall in love with, not the hardware. The hardware is something that will show you the future, but is not the future. While when you first use it, when you first experience this lounge with the menu of the meta, like using your remote, using your hands to move around, choosing the apps, downloading the apps, clicking, opening, closing apps, every single action you do is new. And it's actually very, very exciting for someone that loves tech. And after using this headset, I think I got a glimpse for the future. And I'm really, really excited because Apple Vision Pro just gives you every single thing that this device gives you and more and way more like AR features. There's been moving around now, this AR actual demo, an SDK for your computer for you to try out and developer apps. And I'm really, really excited for this because, oh my God, this just shows you the menus, how it will move. You can experience the real Vision OS. 
I'm so excited, guys. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how much long I've been talking about and roaming around this headset for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. But this headset is really cool. I, I don't know. It's expensive. Yes, $350, not for everyone. But if you compare the price of this headset to the market, then you understand why Meta priced this way. Like, the market costs like $1,000 for headsets. This one is $350. I don't know if Meta is losing money or not. But again, this is really, really good for the price. If you want to experience VR for the first time, I think that the Meta Quest 2 is really your only option. Really cheap when compared to other VR headsets. Really good. Re very, very reliable. It has the best ecosystem of them all. The best operating system. You have VR chat if you want to talk with your fans. You can do VR meetings. You can have these weird Facebook emoji like an emoji. Don't like it. That's not my thing. And you can watch Netflix. Incredible, incredible experience. Disney Plus, other streaming services. And of course, you can watch YouTube on VR, watch VR videos are here, which are a very cool experience. You can watch a NASA. You will be on space, on International Space Station. And there's other things like the VR catalog or some, something like that, where you can watch cartoons, animations made for people for you to experience VR in a different way. There's so many things you can do here. It's a totally new world that you can explore. And that's something that is actually really exciting because not very often that you get new technology, a new world to explore. But let me know in the comments below what you think about MetaQuest and VR in general. After two weeks, I'm in love. What do you want me to say? This is really cool. It's a really cool technology. It's really cheap, actually. It costs you less than the, an iPad, which, in my opinion now, it's totally obsolete. It gives you better experience than a PC. It gives you better experience than a TV. I think this will replace everything. Your phone, your TV, your smartwatch, everything. Apple Vision Pro, it's even better than this. This is good. Apple Vision Pro is 10 times better, 10 times more expensive. But what I'm hopeful is that from the next three, four actual series of Apple Vision Pro and iterations of Apple Vision Pro, we get a cheaper, but much, much better device than this. And in that day, I will buy one, I will use it, I will review it, and I will talk about it for you guys. But until then, we are stuck with MetaQuest 2, until January at least, and then, of course, we can try it out. Apple's Vision on the VR lineup. Again, MetaQuest 2 gets my total recommendation, but the only gripe that I have with it is that it's made by Meta. Yeah, made by Meta. So all your information will be stolen by Mark Zuckerberg, which now is a cage fighter and it will fight Elon. Good luck, Mark. <laughs> what are these billionaires doing? Oh my God. <laughs> Again, MetaQuest 2, really good device. Total recommended, $250 on Amazon. The link will be in the description down below. If you wanna grab one, go through my link. It will help out the channel and you can get it for the same price. So thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed using the MetaQuest 2. I hope you can try it out and experience this new world, just like I did. Thank you guys for watching. This is me, Tech Smart Talking to you here. Don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.